So this is my take on the French Canadian tortier. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today I'm doing a special request. This is a special request from a friend of mine in Canada. He said, what's my take on the French Canadian tortier, which is basically a seasoned meat pie. Now there's various um, ways to make this and different spices are used by different people in different regions of Canada. Now, how it all came about, I have no idea, but it seems to be Christmassy spices inside the pie. Now, I make it a little bit different because I actually make it with a little bit of stock gravy inside the pie to keep it moist. I'm not a really one for eating dry meat pies. So this is my take on the French Canadian tortier. Now, I hope I pronounced that right, because I'm from Yorkshire, not from France or Canada. Right, guys, this is Eric's pie, my way, let's do it. Okay then, to start my pie off, as always, now you can use oil to start this first stage, but, you know, it's, it's a really nice pie made with rich ingredients. So I'm starting this with a little bit of butter. So let's get cracking, flame on. I'm using a combination today of beef, veal and pork. Now I've got 500 grams of beef thereabouts, 250 grams of veal and 250 grams of pork. Now it is roundabout, you know, because there might be 260, but you know, you get the idea. So as usual, to our pan in with our onions. Now I'm only going for a little bit of salt in this guys because I'm actually using a beef stock powder which is quite salty. I'm using no. Now to this I'm going to add a really good probably heat teaspoon of black pepper. And come on it's a French version so you've got to put in a couple of cloves of minced garlic. Probably three cloves of minced garlic there. Now don't forget guys, this is my take on the tortier. So give that a little mix in there. Now when I cook any pies like this guys, you know, I use the butter, the juice of the onions to actually rehydrate the dry herbs. So that is our time. I'm using sage, now you can use mar marjoram, you can use anything that you like. I'm using thyme and sage. And then what we have here, we have quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, cloves and nutmeg. Now you can use allspice. Now I'm going to put that in now. I actually want that to bloom out the spices a little bit inside the but with the butter and the onions you know to help it cook through just a little bit i mean <laughs> smelling here already is, smells like christmas <laughs> unbelievable now people add spices at different stages but you know i'm a great believer that you bloom the spices and you cook the rawness out also that's putting the flavor in this pan already for when we add our meat now people do it their own way, this is my way. And as you can see, nothing is burning in there. We're nice and steady. And then what we want to do, we want to go in with our meat. So that's my pork. That's my beef. Oh, it's gonna be a big meat pie, this. And then this is veal. So we'll get the veal in there. Now I'm quite lucky, really. Even though I live here, in Asia, across the way, is a friend of mine and my neighbour Craig, who actually has deer, and he, he eats veal nearly all year round. So, I've been lucky really, he's been able to supply me with veal over the last couple of years. So, it's going to be a very rich pie this, you know, we've got some good meat going on in here. Now all we're trying to do is sweat it all down 
brown it off a little bit if we can we don't need to brown it too much guys you know we just want to basically cook it down a little bit in there so just work your meat with all your onions and your spices and bring it all together I mean this smells absolutely fabulous okay guys now I'm English so you know and pies and Worcester sauce are fantastic now I'm sure the traditional tortillere doesn't have Worcester sauce in but I can tell you as an additional flavor it certainly brings out the spices in this meat dish now some people would just add just a little splash I'll add about a tablespoon so get that in there fantastic Still got a little bit of pink in there look guys when we run our spatula or sturdy thing through there we can still see a bit of pink so we're just cooking off that pinkness that's all now of course I use veal in there guys but you know if you can only use pork and beef just use pork and beef use whatever meat you've got you know I saw a recipe somewhere that had bacon in now I'm not sure how that goes but um, you know come on bacon in a pie especially if it's um, smoky bacon <laughs> absolutely superb okay so that's our mince not any pink in there I don't think and then what we're going to do we're going to add our gravy or beef stock or whatever you're using now it looks a lot but you know I assure you by the time it's cooked down and the meat's absorbed some and it's nice and succulent meat it will be fine it'll be tremendous to so that guys a couple of bay leaves we've got three bay leaves now bay leaves are optional if you don't want to use them don't use them but they do impart a little bit of flavor and that's it now what we're going to do, we're going to put a lid on this and we're going to cook it for about 15 minutes. Now what I have done, I've diced up and boiled some potatoes. Now they're still quite firm, delicious actually. Now there's a couple of cups of potatoes here. Mm -mm. These have been boiled in salted water. I've seen many recipes for tortillas and this great, the potato in there some have cubes of potato some have mashed potato so basically the majority of the tortillas have potato in so my version I've already cubed boiled this in salted water now this is cool they have a little bit of texture to it so when this is done in 15 minutes we're going to give this a little break up probably with a knife I think just to smash a couple up so they go a bit smaller and we're going to tip the potato in there cook it for about five minutes to get that in there and turn off the heat this is how i'm doing my tortillere now as always guys keep checking keep stirring we don't want anything burning on the bottom of this pan now this is going to cook for about 15 minutes tops let's just cook it get all those flavors together and I've got to stop pinching the potatoes mm. okay that's seen about 18 minutes there we go right we're just going to cook this uncovered for about five minutes whilst we do that I'm going to take out the bay leaves the bay leaves have done their job so get the bay leaves out of there whatever they are the bay leaves have done so much of a good job they've disappeared there's another one so take that out now we did have three there we go
you can see how our fluid has been cooked off quite well actually might not be enough for a gravy right what we've got here guys we've got our potatoes now I'm going to take a fork what we're going to do is we're going to break up a little bit of the potatoes in there now we don't want potato mash I want chunks of potato but I want some of the potato to be absorbed into the gravy so that will do we'll have different size potato and all we're going to do is add the potato to our meat mixture and then what we're going to do a little quick stir in turn off the flame as we're stirring it in there and that is our filling made now how fantastic does that look that looks incredible all we got to do now guys is let it cool down so we're going to let it cool down and then we're going to fill our pie right filling cooled down just a little bit guys so on with the old pastry bit of flour on there bit of flour on the pin right here's our pastry there's a link up here to how to make the pastry usual two thirds one third so one third is going to be for the crust top give it a little bit of a scrunching up in there and then flatten it out this has been in the fridge for uh, quite a while okay and then this is going to be our pastry base now I'm torn between two pie dishes I think we've got quite a lot of fill in there so I'm thinking about making a deep dish but this will do actually so what we're going to do we're going to go for a normal pie tin right what we need to do is roll this out and I want a big crust on this so we're going to roll it more than that tin okay let's get going I think that should do it pick up our pastry get our tin over the top boom now I do want a crust on this so we're not going to take too much off but we are going to feed it inside so lift up tuck down just push it down gently with your fingers now like I say I do want a big overhang on this oh make a nice thick crust I think I think that's what it deserves a nice pie like that so feed it into the bottom we don't want any air holes and we're a pair of scissors we don't need all that take some of that off there just in case we need extra pastry so that's our bottom pie there and then what we need to do is pack our filling in so here we go and get it right into the edge get it right down there seal it into the bottom you know we don't, we don't want those big air pockets in the bottom of there get it in don't forget when I make a pie I make a pie do you think we got too much filling I'm thinking so let's get that on there a bit more potato <laughs> get it in there so that is my pie to the top all we need to do now is roll out a lid now all we need to do 
is take some egg wash and we need to put a bit of glue on the outside of our pie. Nice little bit of glue on there. Now don't make it too wet, whatever you do. You know, because when we fold it all up, it'll be too soggy. So, take our pastry and over the top. Oh, look at that. Oh, will it hold up? I'm not sure. We're just going to hope. Right, lightly stick. That stuck our seam. Now, because I want that huge crust on there, lift up your pastry, tuck under. Okay, so there's our basic pie done. Right, the two finger, one finger crimp. So, two fingers, one finger. Boom. Oh, just here we go, here we go. I mean, come on, guys. Just look at that beauty. Right, what we need to do, we need to egg wash it. Now this is just egg, you can use egg and milk. Just look at that. Right, what you can do, you can actually put a hole in the top of there, or we can put vent holes in with a knife. I think what I'm going to opt for, I'm going to opt for three holes in the top. One there, one there, one there. Now, you can do all sorts of designs on this, you know, I've seen all sorts of designs on this kind of pie. You know, now basically all you do is just scrape the top of the pie. So we're going to have a little design on there, whether it comes out or not. There is our super duper packed up pie. Now that is really packed. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick that in the oven, probably 175 for about 45 minutes. See what happens. Now, are you ready for this? Now this is my take on the tortier. Now what we need to do is we need to let that cool down and then we're going to take a slice. It looks fabulous. It smells fabulous. I can't wait to get a slice. So let's let it cool down and we'll take a slice. That is absolutely amazing. Potato stay quite firm. Absolutely delicious. Fantastic pastry. Mm. And a really, really tasty savoury pie. Not overpowering with the spices. There's only a hint of those spices in there. 
That is absolutely superb. Mmm. Eric, I hope you like what we've done with your pie. It's absolutely superb. Now, if you like what we're doing, don't forget, like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video. Mmm.